Huenda tatizo la kukabiliana na magugu sugu yanayoathiri pakubwa mazao na nafaka katika kaunti ya Busia likafikia kikomo baada ya watafiti na wanasayansi kutoka mataifa ya Kenya, Uganda na Tanzania kuendeleza utafiti wa maabara. Wataalamu kutoka mataifa hayo matatu sasa wakiwa wanakamilisha awamu ya tatu ya utafiti wa kutafuta mbegu zinazoweza kustahimili magugu hayo sugu. So are, uh... Kwa umbali huenda ukadhania haya ni maua yenye rangi ya kuvutia ya waridi na zambarau. Ila ni magugu yanayowapa wakulima hapa tumbo joto. Ni magugu yanayosambazwa kwa haraka sana mbegu zake zinapopeperushwa na upepo kupitia kwa trekta za kulima mbinu potovu za kuziangamiza mbali na wanadamu wanaozikanyaga kutoka kwa eneo moja hadi lingine. Mimea inayoathirika pakubwa ni pamoja na mahindi, wimbi, mtama na hata miwa. Ni swala lililopelekea watafiti hawa kutoka mataifa matatu kukongamana kwa wiki nzima ili kujizatiti kutafuta suluhu mwafaka baada ya kufanyia majaribio ya maabara mbegu hizo kando na kusisitiza umuhimu wa wakulima kutafuta pembejeo zisizoadhirika kama anavyoelezea mtafiti mwandamizi kutoka Tanzania Daktari Dennis Tipe kila tuleta hapa ni kufanya uh warsha kwa ajili ya kuwafundisha watafiti uh, wanaokuja watafiti wachanga uh, ni namna gani tunaweza tukapambana na tatizo la striga uh, sisi tunaita kiduha na ni tatizo sana katika mazao ya nafaka na hapa tunaizungumzia ni namna gani tunaweza tukapata mbegu kizanzani kwa ajili ya striga kwa hiyo tuko kwenye hatua za katikati na tayari kuna mbegu ambazo zimeshaonyesha ha, 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 haueni kwa wakulima. Kwa hiyo mafunzo, mafunzo yanaendelea kwa watafiti wachanga. Sasa hii ni face nyingine kama ya tatu ambako tunaelekea kupata sasa mbegu ambayo itatolewa kwa wakulima baada ya muda si mrefu sana. Wakulima wakionywa kuwa mbegu nyingi za magugu hayo ziko katika udongo na ambazo zina uwezo wa kukaa miaka ishirini akiwataka wakulima kungoa kabla yake kutoa maua The cultural activities is striga being a weed um, it stays in the soil so we have a lot of seed in the soil so this usually germinates the moment you plant any cereal including finger millet So one of the ways is that once the the this, the striga has germinated um, you need to remove it before it flowers such that it does not uh, the seed does not build in the soil as we know the seeds can stay for up to 20 years so if you leave it consecutively to flower over years it increases professor matthews dida kutoka chuo kikuu cha maseno akiwatahadharisha wakulima dhidi ya kutumia mbinu ya kurusha mbegu wakati wa upanzi kama njia moja wapo ya kudhibiti magugu hayo ili angalau kuboresha mazao yao Yes with regard to finger millet yes uh, planting should always be raw planting we don't want broadcasting because management would be a problem striga weed would always germinate and grow and uh, managing that would be a problem so there's simply low productivity under this environment we encourage them to do raw planting we encourage them to use uh, striga tolerant or resistant varieties that have been developed and also use integrated approaches that is mixing different strategies to control this weed to improve uh, crop productivity and food security in the country and the region wakulima wakisema tatizo kuu ni ukosefu wa uhamasisho ya kutosha ya jinsi ya kuangamiza magugu hayo wengi wao wakingoa na kutupa kando kando ya barabara wasijue kuwa mbegu ya kwekwe hizo husambazwa na upepo striga ni weed mbaya sana kwa sababu inapomea inafanya nini mimea haikui chakula ina, nini mimea inarudi chini sasa unapata ukienda kuvuna kwa mfano kama mahindi unapata vidogo vidogo na pengine uko na shamba kama eka moja e kama tutafikiwa na tu, tuelezwe vile tuelezewe vile itakuwa tutasikia vizuri sana huwa tunazingoa na tunazitupa barabarani ama tuziuache tu kando ya barabara sasa ni kama bado huwa inasambaza tena kwa Jane Cherotich Runinga ya Citizen Busia